Norwell. Isn't that the town that was destroyed by a volcano? Yeah, but they built a village on top of the ruins ages ago. Now the villagers make their living selling fireworks. They just kept the old name. You really believe the old volcano myth, Walder? Everybody knows the real story. The Waltz of the Fire Dancer. Right, right, the Fire Dancer. Number one on Craig and Spike's list of must-see dragons. The Waltz of the Fire Dancer. Now there's a tale that brings a tear to the eye of any practitioner of the explosive arts. Yeah, from Polari's Travels. On the night disaster struck, it was the fireworks festival, the biggest party of the year. Travelers would flock from all over to Mars, and among them was the great adventurer, Polari. Before the show started, he went to a hillside outside the town to find a place with a good view. But as the first fireworks rose into the sky, Polari ran toward the nearest cave, as if guided by a premonition. Premonition, my shapely green arse. Probably just needed to take a leak. What? Oh, where'd you hear that one, bomber boy? Goblin storytellers are about as reliable as their second-hand goods. And then, Kella, what happened? I'm already bored, Half Pint. Let me tell it. The fireworks festival had an unexpected guest. A dragon. As the first fireworks leapt into the sky, the people below watched in awe as they changed shape, came together, and descended. One by one, their cheers turned to screams, and their screams turned to explosions. The whole town was turned into one super incredible fireworks display. Not sure about the details, but Bomber Boy's got it more or less right. Our great adventurer escaped certain death by hiding in a cave. He was the sole survivor. He wrote about it in his journal. I think the volcano is considered the most likely explanation. When the book Polaris Travels was first released, it wasn't very well received. It's only recently that it's become popular, thanks to the increase in dragon worship. <laughs> Typical dragon dinar. Anyway, since they borrowed the pearl, that means they must have come under a dragon attack. Just like the one Polari saw. I can't wait. Norwell is the site of one of the most beautiful explosions in history. I'll bet you that village is hiding some kind of super secret recipe. Sorceress wants to fight us. Cha cha! Where's your sense of romance? That wasn't a challenge, it was an invitation. Although, didn't those villagers say it's the sorceress who brought the fire dancer here? I just spoke with a few of them. They told me she's been in Norwell for over a month now. At first, she claimed she was just visiting for leisure, but then she started dragging one of the villagers around with her as a guide. 
and asking all the village children about the story of the fire dancer. Then, 30 days after she arrived, a red dragon appeared. Norwell was engulfed in flames. If the villagers hadn't dug out an underground shelter in advance, they would have faced the same tragedy as their ancestors did 300 years ago. You managed to find all that out? <laughs> nice work, Walder. Uh, looks to me like our sorceress has got something to do with the dragon. <laughs> uh, are we sure we want to go looking for her? She was able to control the flames with just her hands. Didn't even need a staff. Power like that can only come from a gifted bloodline. If she turns out to be an enemy, we'd best be ready for her. Of course we're gonna go find her, Halfpint. What, you scared of a little fire? My bombs will make her pyromancy look like a party trick. Yeah. <laughs> 